All right, hi, this is Doug from Rusted Wrench Garage. Today we got another little short project. I promise we're gonna go back to work on the Camaro, but we gotta get things ready. Like I said in the last video, we think we messed the transmission up. So we've got another Turbo 400 transmission that we're gonna to try to put in the car. But, you know, I have to work this stuff by myself and I'm getting older and if you ever did a Turbo 400, they're hard to, hard to, to lift up in the air and get started by yourself. So I went to Arbor Freight to, uh, try to find a transmission jack and the only one they had in stock was $230. So I looked on Facebook marketplace and there wasn't nothing on there that was close in my area. And like I said, you know, I do this stuff on a budget and I can't really justify spending $230 on a transmission jack that hopefully I'm not going to be using that often. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made my own transmission jack and it only cost me $3 and 99 cents. And, uh, I believe it'll work. So uh, let me show you how it's done. Okay, first I got my old floor jack. And if you look, you can see here, there's a little nut in there that you can take out with the Allen wrench. So we're just gonna spin that out of there. Let me set you down here while I do this. Just take that little nut out of there and and your plate will lift off. And now we've got a jack with an empty hole in it. And I couldn't get anything that would go all the way through because if you can see, I don't know, holding this camera, there's a bar there. So we couldn't do that. So what I did is I took this old plate that came off of the bottom of a chair. As you can see, it's pretty thick metal. And uh, what I did is I drilled a hole out that was big enough for this to go through but I didn't want this bolt hitting the bottom of my transmission. So I had these pads here and I used spray glue and I put them on, I put them on top. So that recess is down in there and it won't hit the transmission. On the bottom, I welded a couple brackets here so I can take my, my deals. This is what cost me $3.99. I can just slide them through here. Like so, so I'll have something to uh, hold my transmission on there. And plus it's black and orange, so we like that. Put this through here. Now we just set this right back on top of here and get our hole lined up, our boat lined up on there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's snug it down. Once we get snug down, now that thing's on there. We can loosen it up a little bit, but this will still spin in case we need to spin our transmission a little bit. And then these straps will come right over the top. And you can hook your transmission to it. If you don't want to spend $230 on a transmission jack, then you can just build one like this for yourself. Put it on your regular floor jack and uh, should work just fine. We're going to try it here in a little bit and uh, see how it works.